Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out some new blushes that recently launched. And this is from Benefit Cosmetics. And this is the Wonderful World Silky Soft Powder Blush. They came out with 11 different shades. And I'm not even lying to you guys. It was so hard for me to pick like which blushes I wanted to pick up for today's video. Like to purchase for today's video. Just because they all look so pretty. They kind of all looked similar at the same time. So it was really hard. And the two that I picked up is Pom Pom and Willa. And I'm not even going to lie you guys. I thought Pom Pom had more of like a terracotta corally undertone to it for some reason. I don't even know why I thought that because it has more of a rosy undertone. And I also picked up Willa. This one has more of a satin finish and obviously it has a rosy undertone, but they do look similar, but at the same time look different. So I'm hoping for the best for today's video. We're going to try them both on and we're just going to see what is the finish like, the undertone, like how does it blend on the skin. Keep in mind that Pom Pom has more of a matte finish to it as well. And in case you didn't know, these blushes are supposed to give us an airbrush finish on the skin. You can obviously build the pigmentation to your personal liking. It's supposed to be sweat proof, smudge proof, and has a silky soft finish to these blushes, like the powder of it. So I'm really excited to test these out. I hope you guys are too. Everything I talk about in today's video will be linked down below in the description box. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really does help out my channel. And as always, let's jump on in and try them on. So starting off on our first blush shade, which is called Willa. And I love the name to the blush. I think it's really cute. I love the packaging to it. I feel like it fits perfectly with the blush shades. So let me show you. It's described on their website, by the way, as a soft, neutral rose blush shade. And I think it's so, so pretty. I feel like it's going to be the perfect, like, everyday type of blush. It's going to be a little pop of color. It also has a satin finish. Let me show you really quickly, which I swatched in the back of my hand. And I do love the rosy undertone to it. It's really nice and soft, very natural. I'm hoping that the satin finish isn't going to look like a straight up highlighter on the top of my cheekbones. I'm hoping that it's going to look like a beautiful glow from within type of finish. So we will see and as for the consistency it feels really creamy really silky and soft the powder And so far when I dipped my finger into the pan, I didn't notice any fallout So I'll let you guys know if I do see any fallout once I dip my brush into the pan itself But so far I really love the pan size. I feel like this is a really good amount This can last you a really long time and as for the mirror I love that they include a little small mirror. It's always handy You never know when you need it and as for the packaging. I really like that. It's like lightweight I feel like they stay true to their packaging. I appreciate personally really like it. it's very different than you know anything that is currently out there as for a scent let me tell you girl it does have a scent I feel like it has like a really soft like rosy scent it's, it's something that you have to get really close to the pan to the blush to really pick it up but it's not something that you're gonna like instantly notice right away at least in my opinion so we're gonna go ahead and jump on in and try on Willa I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay F107 brush and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product because I don't know like how pigmented this is going to be so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on the top of my cheekbones building the pigmentation little by little and this is Willa what do you guys think of Willa so far I feel like it definitely gives you like a little pop of color. It's really subtle, beautiful everyday type of blush. Again, it definitely has a satin finish. Like you could see you can see the satin finish for sure. I'm not a huge fan of that. I don't really know how I feel about it, to be honest. I'll see once I'm editing this video. I do love the little satin finish that it gives, but I feel like it I wish it was a little toned down for me, but I do love the undertone to this blush. It's blended really, really nicely, evenly. It has not applied on patchy. It blends really nicely on the skin. And so far, I really love the undertone. It's really, really pretty on. Comment down below on your thoughts so far. What do you guys think of Willa? Do you like satin finish blushes or do you prefer matte? Comment down below. Let a girl know. I'm really curious. I kind of honestly prefer more of a matte finish type of blush, but you know, it's nice to have a little bit of variety, a little shimmer in there, a little something, something to change things up. But so far, it's a really beautiful blush. I'm really happy that you're able to see it on. And I did my best to try to build the pigmentation, guys, because I want you guys to for sure be able to see it on camera so let's move on to blush shade number two called pom pom described on their website as a pomegranate rose blush shade it also has a natural matte finish which i personally really love i feel like this one's going to look a little bit more pigmented a little bit more mauve. i feel like this is a beautiful fall winter blush shade especially on a date night if you're not with your girlfriends i feel like it's going to look so so pretty on and let me give you an up close clip of how this watch is currently looking and so far it definitely has more of a matte finish you do not see any like shimmer in it it doesn't look it doesn't have like a satin finish at all in any way so so far personally really like it i feel like it's going to 
look really nice on my skin complexion. And again, love the packaging to it. I love how they all look so different from one another. And you can see obviously the name on the top of the little packaging, also in the bottom of the packaging, which I think is really cute. It's nice to have multiple reference guides. You just never know when you need them, you know what I mean? <laughs> and as of for a scent, Let's see, it has a very consistent scent. It smells exactly the same as the other. So it has like a rosy undertone, which I personally like. Honestly, it would have been really cute if they all had like their own individual scents, but maybe that's too much to ask for. Maybe it would cost a little bit more too. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump on in and apply on Pom Pom. I'm actually gonna go in with my LMR Cosmetics blush brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this blush on the top of my cheekbones, building the pigmentation and kind of applying it in an upward motion so I can go ahead and lift the face just slightly. All right, you guys, so I just finished applying on Pom Pom. Let me give you an up close clip of how my skin is currently looking. Comment down below, what do you guys think of Willa? And Pom Pom, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison, of course, so you can see the differences from one shade to the other. Comment down below so far on your thoughts. To be really honest, you guys, I love Pom Pom and I love Willa. I feel like if you want something a little bit more pigmented, definitely go with Pom Pom. I feel like it's a beautiful fall winter time type of blush. I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. I feel like both shades worked really well with my skin complexion. It just depends on how pigmented and what type of blush shade I'm kind of in the mood for. But so far, Willa definitely has a sound finish. So just keep that in mind. It has more of like a shimmer in it, which I'm not a huge fan. I wish it was a little bit more subtle. I wish it looked like a little bit more like a glow from within not much of like a highlighter I feel like it's looking like a highlighter to be really honest but overall $29 is it actually worth it I feel like it is I love the undertone the blendability a little bit of product goes a long way there's literally no fallout I love the packaging that is like recyclable I just think it's really cute and I love how they all look so different from one another and I love the pan size I feel like this will last you literally such a long time you can never go wrong with like a rosy type of blush I feel like everyone should have you know, a rose type of blush, a pink, a terracotta, you know, have a little bit of everything. You just never know what you're in the mood for. And by the way, you guys, they also do have minis for some, for certain blush shades. I'm not sure if they have them for all, but I did notice that they had a few minis for certain shades. And I think that runs for like $11. So it's definitely more affordable. So definitely check that out if you're interested in testing it out, but you just don't want to splurge or you want to try something small. I feel like that's a really good option. I'm not sure if they're going to have the shade that you may be looking for, but they definitely have that option that's really actually really really nice and i'm happy that they actually took that in consideration so this is basically it you guys i hope you enjoyed today's video i had so much fun testing out new brushes applying them on just seeing what they're basically all about and i'm really happy that i got to try out something else from benefit cosmetics because i've only tried like one of their palettes that i picked up i think it was like last year or the day before the day before the year before and i ended up really liking it but i haven't really been haven't tried anything else from their brands, which surprises me a lot. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm rambling. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Everything will be linked down below. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much.